when you're using a PET study, you're basically injecting a radioactive substance. You can either inhale it or you can inject it into the body. And then you can actually look for the effects that you have. And uh, studies like this have recently been carried out by Harris Research Group in the States. And they've demonstrated that when you look for acupuncture, they've shown that when you use manual acupuncture with a detchi, you're getting an increased activity and release of endogenous opioids. But when you do sham acupuncture, you're getting an increase in the opioid receptors. So in other words, both real acupuncture and sham acupuncture affects the opioid system, but in a different way. So it is believed possibly that, yes, the sham acupuncture is also doing something on the opioid system. Uh, and then we're going to talk a little bit more, more about uh, magnetic resonance imaging here. And especially we're going to focus on the functional MRI. And I will come back to this. But basically, and very simply already, the functional messenger MRI measures the blood flow in a specific area.